Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to work with the local date class using the GSIM library that will convert to JSON. We're going to do this inside of IntelliJ. Uh, in a previous video I showed how to configure IntelliJ to work with the JSON library. Uh, the comments uh, down below will have a link to that video, and it helps you get set up. You go to File, Project Structure, and you'll set up this library here to use the JSON library. Have a look at that now if you haven't got it working already. So in this example, I'm going to start with just using the date class. Let me show you what we're working with. I've created a very simple, plain old Java object, a Pojo, Pogo, which is rock. And a rock has a name and a date created. So for example, you might have created some pumice during the eruption of Mount St. Helens. And in which case, we'll represent it with this object. Now I'm just using a date to start with, the date class, which is defined in java.util.date as well as a few other versions elsewhere, but they're not really very good. Date is one of those classes with maybe, I don't know if it holds the record for it, but it may have the record for the most number of deprecated methods, meaning things that are no longer supported. So let's go through and prove it works with this, and then we'll switch to local date and have to do a few changes. So I've got this plain class here. I'll look at my main, main as we've seen already in a few previous videos linked below. We'll create a JSON object for working with, I'm then going to write it to the file. So here I'm going to create this uh, rock with local date is what we're going to end up working with. Let's just call it rock date. Why not? The rock date will be the file we're going to start with. And then we're going to write it to the file with a JSON to JSON. And then we're going to read it back with JSON from JSON. So let's try it. Control Shift F10. We run it. And it ended up working. Here we go from JSON, and we read this object back in. I can actually show you the JSON file that we just created here, this rock.date. It's the rock we just created. And I'll prove it's what we did. Let me change the name here. Pumice. Yay! Shift F10. And we'll see that my file is now pumice. Yay! And my object that I've recreated, read back from disk, is likewise the same. So that's, that's working. So date's working. But the problem with date here is we want to express a simple date. And well, we've got the day of the week. We've got the year. And all that sounds good. We've got, but we have a time zone and a time stamp. And maybe that's not what we want. And now I just specified a particular day here. But let's go and say, well, what if we want to change this not to be a date, but I'm going to want this to be a local day. Local date local date. Now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to say local date uh, and then I'm going to create it with a particular uh, moment in time. So I can say here uh, local date and then I want to say parse and I give it a, a string. So let's do Mount St. Helens which happened to be 1980, 1980 and 05 and 19, May 19th. So this is going to create me a local date object. Alt enter to import, and we can see up here now we've switched to importing the right thing for local date. Now it's not going to compile yet. Uh, I need an extra bracket here. It's not going to compile because my func my class is currently expecting a date. I'm giving it a local date. Let's switch that over. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to switch this to be a local date, date created, local date in the constructor. That looks pretty good. Alt enter to import the class. And I think that that'll work well enough for the moment. Maybe I'll need to change some things down here. Actually, let's do the other change here. Well, working with a local date, I can say here I want to format. And I'm going to format this based to the ISO standard, ISO and ISO local date. And that's going to give me year, 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 four, day, four digit year, two digit month, two digit day, which will sort nicely. OK, so now we're going to format that out. Rock looks good. I switched rock. I come back to main. I have a look at main. Nothing else seems to need to change. I do have this rock date file. I'm going to delete that. Uh, get rid of all those. Just delete it. So let's just see what happens. Let's try it. Shift F10. Run it. And it's not going to work. It says illegal reflection. The local date class does not work with the reflection that JSON is trying to do. So it can't actually. It tries to make the file here. It puts it out, and so that's looking good. Oh, it did work. It wrote, wrote it out OK. But it's not able to read it back. So what we want to do is we want to work with this. We want to give it what's called an adapter. So I'm going to create a new class here. Right click, New, Java Class. And I'm going to call this one Local Date Adapter. 
I'm going to start by putting in here just a comment at the top that I pre-typed elsewhere. And the basic idea is this is going to convert the local date to JSON support and back. And thanks to a guide on Java Guides, as well as a post on Jack Stack Overflow and hundreds of other places for the ideas that we're going to use here. So the big thing I want to do is I want to implement the JSON serializer interface and the JSON deserializer interface. So implements, I'm going to say here, JSON, or probably JSON, JSON serializer interface. And we're going to serialize a local date. Plus, I want to implement the JSON deserializer also for local date. And we're going to have to import that, Alt Enter to import. And that's a good start. OK, so we're going to build a class. It's an adapter, so it allows us to kind of convert formats. And its whole claim to fame is we're going to allow serialization and deserialization under our control. Now, each of these has some methods. I can go through and implement them individually and carefully. I can hit Alt Enter and say implement the methods, and it will give me the structure for each of the two interfaces that I'm trying to support. So let me go through here. I'll shrink this down. Let's go Alt 1 to get rid of this thing on the left. OK. So here's the basics of my class. These are the two methods I need to implement, to deserialize and to serialize. Now, let's start with the deserialize. When I want to deserialize, I am given a JSON element, and I'm going to be trying to read the type from that. And the type we happen to know is going to be um, for uh, working with a local uh, with the local date. So what I'm going to do is I want to return a local date. So return local date dot. And I'm going to parse from it. Now what am I going to parse from? I need to give it something to work with. So this is going to be the JSON element, and I'm going to say here dot get as string. So give me the string to work with. And I need to tell it the format, so date, time, formatter, and I'm going to say here ISO local date. OK, so that's enough to deserialize it. Now, to serialize it, I want to create a JSON element. So return a new JSON element, JSON primitive, in fact, which, in, which uh, inherits or implements the JSON element. And then I need to say what I'm going to build it from. So I'll put on a second line here. This is going to build it from a local date that I've been passed in, the local date. And I want to format this to the right format. So format, and I'm going to pass in the ISO local, ISO local date. And that's it. So now I have created my adapter, which allows me to go both directions with JSON and my local date. But that's not enough. I need to kind of link it in. So I'm going to go back to my main. Up here, when I'm creating my JSON object, I actually need to create this a different way. So I'm going to use my builder that I've used before. I'm going to comment this out, and I'm going to say I want a JSON object, JSON, equals, and I'm going to use the builder. So new JSON builder. Now on this, I'm going to start to select, uh, specify thing. The first thing I want to do is I want to register my type adapter so that I'm able to work with these local and sort of say, hey, here's an improved way that I'm providing. So register type adapter. And for a local date dot class, this is what I want to convert. Whenever I see one of these, I want to use my new, and this is going to be my local date adapter that I just wrote. So I'm telling JSON, every time you see a local date, use this clever thing I just provided. And then we'll build this into our usual uh, Thing to work with. OK, so that's the only change I've really made here. I don't need to change anything else. Let me run this, Shift F10. We got rid of the error, and we've rebuilt this thing. So now it is going into my rock date here. It creates this file, and then it reads it back, and we can see it coming back here. Let's just show with this. I'm going to get rid of the code to write. We're going to use the same file. Let's go in here and change this around. Uh, this is be pumice. It's light stuff. I'm going to run the program again, and we'll see that it reads it. Uh, oh, uh, I think it's got the do, 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 do. Might have, have I got something wrong here? Ah, yes, I'm closing a bracket. That's why. Rerun that. And there we go. Pumice, it's light stuff. It recreates the correct object now. And my date's still fine. Let's just change the date for fun. Let's imagine this was 1984. 
and we see that it's got 1984 there. All right, so that's all I wanted to show here. The quick recap that we had is we started off by seeing that we couldn't, we could read and write dates, but as soon as we changed my rock here from a date to a local date, we couldn't work with it. It didn't work. So we had to create our local date adapter, which will convert between the types and the JSON elements. And then I had to link it in. And so the big thing we had to do was we had to register the type adapter. When we did that, everything just began to work for free. All right, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.